Power crews across the Bay Area are working to harden the grid. It's a lesson many of us lived through after Hurricane Irma. ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson found out what crews are doing to keep your home powered as hurricane season approaches. Two years ago, Irma left Bay Area homes damaged. There were all kinds of roofs that had roof damage. And she knocked the power out to thousands. Every storm we learn and we always try to get better. FPNL crews are in North Sarasota County this month, replacing more than 80 power poles. We're replacing a wood pole with a concrete pole. About 3,500 homes will benefit from the project, especially if a storm hits. It's a lot easier to replace a power line than it is to rebuild the infrastructure. The hardening is happening all over the Bay Area. Duke Energy says they're replacing about 600 poles by the end of this year. And Tico is working on replacing 155 poles. The new poles will withstand winds up to a Category 4 hurricane. But the future of hurricane hardening could change if Florida lawmakers pass a bill requiring power lines to go underground, a cost that would most likely be passed on to you. We're very supportive of that legislation and we're waiting to see if the governor signs it into law. But first, crews are focused on making wooden poles a thing of the past. I did not like going six days without electricity. Hurricane season starts June 1st. Reporting in Sarasota, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.